Today we are going to do this problem, which part of which is part of um, lead code um, contest this week's weekly contest. Um, so the second problem is find the length of the longest common prefix. So basically, with this problem, we have two arrays. We have array one and array two, and the concept of a prefix of a number in this specific case is basically if you have let's say one, two, three, four, five as the number, so twelve thousand three hundred fifty-four. Then one two three is a prefix, but two three four is not. So basically, the middle is not. So in this specific case, one is a prefix. One two three is a prefix. One two is a prefix. One two three four is a prefix. Right? You get the idea. One two three four five even is a prefix. Okay. Um, and the problem asks us basically between these two arrays, we want to find the longest common prefix between all the pairs of the two arrays. So, for example, if we take a look at this first example, the longest common prefix is between 100 and 1000, which is both 100 in both of them, which has a length of 3, and so written 3. If we take a look here, there is no common prefix between the two, uh, between any pairs of the two, and so we return 0, right? Now, if we look at the constraint, it's actually pretty big, so open squared solution is not going to be to pass because that would be 10 to the power of 8 right but let's still do it and just see if we can um if we can optimize it okay sorry um so here i have just the brute force solution so it should be pretty simple we just go through array one then we go through array two and for each one of them we check if um what i'm doing here which is basically we check if if any prefix of an element of array 2 is a, a prefix of a1. If it is, we check if it's the best we have so far, if it's the best in terms of length. So we go through each of the two arrays. Then we get strings because it's easier to compare strings than we can really compare the prefix of an integer. But then in this loop here, we go through the all the prefixes of an element of array 2 and then we check if S1, uh, which is basically the element of array 1, if that starts with uh, any prefix of, array two, of A2. If it does, then we found a common prefix, right? Because a prefix of S1, that, this basically means that a prefix of S1 is equal to a prefix of S2 because it starts with it. We could also do something like um, check for all the prefixes of S1 um, like this. Um, and see if they check if they are equal. So check if so maybe name this J and check if S1 up to J plus one is equal. Right? But we actually we don't need to do this since we have the start with function, so we can just use that start with function. Okay. Um, so that that would be basically like doing the same thing. And so once we find that both that a prefix of S2 is actually a prefix of S1, so we found a common prefix. We check if it's the maximum length so far. Now, why are we doing the length i plus 1 instead of i? Because we index from 0. So if, we j if the common prefix is just the element at index 0, we would want the length to be 1 because it's just that first element, right? Um, and so that's what we are doing here. Um, uh, and then we take the the best, okay? So this is fine, but this is the problem here is this is of n squared just with these two, with n being the length, uh, the maximum length of both, or maybe of n m we can say, um, and then multiplied by the length of the string itself. So that you can see here, that won't pass because that's going to be 10 to the power of 4. Um, uh, we don't have really something about the length of the array, but it doesn't matter really because already uh, just looping over these two will give us 10 to the power of 8. So this won't pass. But how can we optimize it? Well, the first thing to think about is this start with that we are doing. We are checking if basically this um, prefix uh, of S2 is a prefix of S1, right? That's literally what we are doing. So we are checking if this S2 up to i is one of the prefixes of S1. S1 is basically the element of array 1. So maybe we can just pre-compute the prefixes of S1 and check if this one is part of them, right? That would be simpler. And that would actually eliminate this first loop for us, this first loop here.
right? So how would that be? How can we do that? Well, we could just instead of uh, let me actually just bring this up here. So we can pre-compute them, but where do we put them? Well, we want to pre-compute them in a way that we can say something like, is this here in the prefixes of S1? Okay, what is, an easy, what is something that will make this O of 1? Well, only if this was a set. So basically, we can pre-compute the prefixes in a hash set, um, prefixes of S1 in a hash set, and that will eliminate the first loop, and that will make this basically O of M, if M is the length of array 2, multiplied by the length of each, the maximum element of array 1, of, uh, of the array, which should be still fine, right? And that will cut it from O of um, n squared, if n is the length of the array, to O of n multiplied by, of course, the length of the array, but let's just ignore that for a second. So that's exactly what we are going to do here. So let's just write that up. So let's take our base, um, let's take our base um, code here and just update it so that we use, we pre-compute the prefix, okay? So how do we do it? Now, this is a useful approach, which is basically, if you are not able to come up with a faster solution, first write the brief brute force and see how you can optimize it. So we said we need, um, so we keep this part the same, but we need to pre-compute the prefixes of array one. So let's call this a set, mm, prefixes of array one. Um, and then what we do here is we wanna check uh, we just want to go through the prefixes, all of them together. So I in range of length of, um, let's call it S1, being the string of A1. Um, okay, and now we just do the same thing. So what is the prefix? Is up to I plus 1. And so we just add that as part of our set. Okay. And now if we find that it's in one of the prefixes, that means one of the in the elements of array one is has a common prefix of this one. That's all we care about, um, and so we can check the length. Um, we don't need to do any array one element. Okay, um, and that should be it. So let's try to run it. Looks like it got accepted. Let's submit, and that gets accepted. Okay. Uh, so you can see, we start with the brute force, and then we see how can we remove one of the f uh, nested loops, like for example, this array one, um, and that's pretty much it. And the key idea here is that it doesn't matter which, which index of array one an element of array two has a common prefix with. It doesn't matter. Any one of them is fine. What we care about is the maximum length. So let's just put all the prefixes of array one together, and let's just check. Right, that's the core idea here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Thanks for watching.